a few days ago a student of mine asked me this question how many complexes are possible with the structure mab2 what do i mean by that let's take an example suppose this is a complex of zn2 plus and then you have a ligand ligand is um, not symmetric but bidentate so this is glycine not a ligand you see glycine if you remember glycine is the simplest amino acid so you have a carboxylic acid group and then at the alpha carbon an amine group and then you remove this h from here and you have a coo minus group and this becomes glycinato a negatively charged ligand so this is complexing the zn2 plus from both the sides and both the sides are different and as you can see the geometry is also tetrahedral which is evident from the wedge and dash here so in how many ways uh, can these this complex be formed now that's very important to understand the question how many ways this complex can exist with the same structure with the same zn2 plus same two glycinato ligands how many different such molecules are possible okay so let's go into this we will represent this whole situation um, using colors and uh, as you can see this red color is the central metal ion and then this is unsymmetric bidentate ligand so the colors are different and uh, it's bidentate so this part is connected to this part okay and that part is connected to that part so this is your m let's say this is a and this is b and they are connected so that's why we write m a b 2 not m a 2 b 2 that would have been the the case when uh, there would have been no connection between a and b so we take the a b in the bracket right and uh, let's see what happens how many such molecules are possible some like uh, the intuition says if you know about uh, chiral carbon then if there are four different attachments to carbon atom then only you can have two configurations r and s but here um, we don't have a carbon of course we have a zn2 plus but it doesn't matter because the geometry is the same and uh, the four groups are not different right and that's why the intuition is like there would be no optical isomers or no stereo isomers but then let's see let's check it so imagine there are infinitely many such molecules and you um try to superimpose them that's how you figure out how many such molecules are possible so if you take this molecule and let's say you you take this molecule and you try to adjust them to see if they are they can look alike or not and so if you adjust this one like this then you can see that this is completely superimposed the relative positions are matching right the blue blue yellow yellow are at the same positions and the connections are also at the same position so these two molecules are superimposable so they are not two different molecules so till now we have only one molecule but uh, this will will this be always the case or maybe if i take some other molecule and i would not be able to superimpose it and how many such molecules are possible so then the plan is very simple you pick up any molecule you bring a blue sphere up and you bring the yellow connected to the blue like this okay this you can do with any molecule can pick up any molecule and you can like this this portion you can adjust this portion like this right the blue is here and the yellow is here similarly this one right you can uh, rotate it a little bit and then adjust it in this position so understanding this then now you have only two possible cases right so if one of the unsymmetric bidentate ligand a b is here then the other ligand could be like um, a b from this side or maybe a b from this side this is in front this is in the back right wedge and the dash this is a little bit more thicker and this is dashed so this these two cases are only possible here and if uh, we check for them if they are superimposable then we would say that there is only one molecule possible if they are not then we would say that there are two molecules possible so at first sight they do not look superimposed because the first group this is superimposed the first 
ligand is superimposed but the second one is not superimposed maybe we can adjust them and make them superimposable right so what's the plan so my plan is like okay i don't even want to disturb this superimposition these two which are already superimposed uh, but this is very difficult maybe maybe i'm just thinking about that the blue is here and this blue is here somehow if i bring this blue there but then you will see that uh, something will happen and it will not get completely superimposed let's let's try to do that so you take up that axis and you rotate such that this blue goes there okay so what happens now this blue goes there this yellow let's say it's one number one this comes here right and then let's say this is yellow number two this comes here right so the position of blue blue yellow 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 and blue blue are superimposed but uh, the linkage connecting the ligand in internally is at the different position so this is a different kind of a situation and it feels like this is not superimposable maybe you can say something else now let's go for completeness so i think this should be clear that these two are not superimposable maybe what what can what next can you see suppose you are a very cynic person and you want to like check it to like the final details then what next you can say maybe you can say this yellow let's replace this uh, sorry this blue and let's replace let's bring this blue up and try to superimpose maybe then we can right Okay, so let's try to bring that blue up. You take this axis, this axis is going from this yellow sphere, this red sphere, not from this. This is at the back. Okay, so you must be familiar with a tetrahedral shape to understand this. And then you turn it around. Okay, what happens now? So, what happens now? This blue goes up there. From which side? maybe it's better to rotate it from this side because then you will have to only rotate 120 degrees then 120 degrees this will go there and this yellow will come up here right so that is happening and keep a track of the link between these two so this is here and this goes at the back so this link is now this link is now here right okay so what now we have brought the other blue up and then we see that it's the same situation as before you have all the colors all the the blue blue yellow yellow superimposed but the link is not superimposed right and uh, i bet you you can't superimpose these two molecules and that's why we have two different stereoisomers for mab2 type complexes in tetrahedral geometry right if you memorize it then it's fine but if you want to go into the details that's always recommended <laughs> what what's next so let's try to think a little bit more these two are not superimposable of course let's try to think a little bit more are they mirror images of each other because they are not superimposable they are two different molecules they are two stereoisomers but are they uh, enantiomers are they optically active the next question okay so let's try to see this consider this um, rotation of this molecule the second one and you rotate it 180 degrees from here so you bring this yellow one here this yellow this blue goes there right check it check it properly if you have all the links and all the atoms are exactly positioned according to this 180 degree rotation right this link here this link here goes 180 degree and it comes here okay this link at the back side comes at the front side here this link at the back side okay just a minute and then now let's bring them closer and see what happened aren't they mirror images of each other i they are right 
So they are mirror images of each other. This proves two fact. What? That they are optical isomers and they are enantiomers, of course, right? Enantiomers. And it also means that these two molecules are optically active. <laughs> these terms are very closely connected, but uh, what I'm saying, you need to focus on these three sentences that these two molecules are optical isomers of each other. These two molecules are enantiomers also. And these two molecules in itself, in themselves, they are optically active. If one rotates the plane polarized by certain angle, the other one will rotate the plane polarized by the certain, but by the same angle, but in the opposite sense. Anyways, let's now try to build it up a little bit more because there are, it's also possible that the MAB2 type complexes could be square planar. What in the, what happens in that case? Would we get two different molecules? Would we get optically active molecules? What would happen? So, because this is a 2D situation, square planar complex, this is a 2D situation. So, you are not going to get optical isomerism here. I have explained this fact in my another video, the link of which I will post in the description. So, you can watch that video first and then come back to understand this why. So, this is a 2D geometry and you wouldn't get optical isomerism here. You, Chirality would not be possible. What is chirality? Also, if you want to understand what is chirality, what is optical isomerism and all these things. So there are two videos on my channel, which is a basic, which is a must for everyone to see before they start seeing these kind of videos. I will post the link of both the videos in my, in the description. Okay. Anyway, so optical isomerism is not possible, but then there are two different molecules possible and both of them are like this. So this is let this AB is connected like this and this AB is connected like this in such a fashion that AA are opposite to each other. But then you can also have AB connected like this. This is the link between A and B connected like this and AA are together. And now you can't superimpose them. Isn't it obvious? Maybe then you can try. No matter how you rotate this molecule, you wouldn't be able to bring this yellow and this yellow on the opposite side, right? That's why you wouldn't be able to superimpose these two molecules. So what kind of isomerism is this? This is of course stereoisomerism, but this is not optical isomerism. This is the geometrical isomerism, right? Also, you can realize that there is no third possibility here. So these are only, there are only two stereoisomers possible here also. And these are the two stereoisomers and they are geometrical isomers, okay? None of them is optically active because this is a 2D situation. You can also call them diastereomers. Geometrical isomers, you can also call them diastereomers. 